channel, it's Chelsea, where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. I'm a beauty consultant who loves to talk about everything dealing with beauty and makeup, and today it is the first declutter of Chelsea. So I, y'all, the way I need to declutter my makeup is unreal. When I say I'm looking forward to this declutter, I cannot wait to declutter my makeup. And y'all, this year I'm really trying to get rid of things. So. I wish y'all were here with me to talk me off this ledge because like I have not had successful declutters in the past, but this year we're getting rid of some makeup. So stay tuned for all of that. Today we are decluttering my foundations because I love my foundations. So I figure I'll go with the product that's going to hurt me the most, get it done and over with. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. Now, if you've never seen any of, of my declutters, I usually don't have an intro at all. We usually just jump right into it. So if you're new here, just wanted to let you know, I'm showing my face now, but you won't be seeing my face in future declutters. Just know we're getting right into it. So let's get into okay, it. So we're gonna first start with these because these are the foundations that I have been keeping on my desk and also in the drawer next to my desk. So these are the ones that I tend to reach for the most as of late or that's in theory what I would do. So straight off, balm powder is going nowhere. I'm putting the balm powder in this category because I felt like it was just the easiest to do. So I have shades five and six. Oh, how cute. I didn't realize they were even gonna be like that. I have the universal shade, shade seven, and then shade eight. By this point, you guys know how much I love these, so let's move on. <laughs> then we have Lisa Eldridge's. This is her Seamless Skin Foundation. Sorry for it being blurry. I do have shade 23, and this one is really, really beautiful. Um, I enjoy this foundation. Definitely want to get more use out of it because I really didn't wear this foundation a lot this year, but I really do enjoy it. Here is a definitely a declutter, unfortunately. So I was gifted this particular skin tint from Salt New York. I don't hear a lot of people talk about them, but they have some beautiful clean products. So let me see if I can get this out here. So this is the skin tint and they have palettes that you can put their products in. So they have um, cream blushes, highlighters, bronzers, contours that all come in this type of packaging. Unfortunately, the shade does not work for me and I don't think I can make it work. So this will be my first declutter because I just can't use it. Vision Cream Cover by Danessa Myricks. This is like my obsession. I absolutely love Vision Cream Cover. Sorry if it's blurry. I'm trying to make sure it's not blurry. Um, I wear the shade N06 for the majority of my face, so this is definitely a keeper. This R RCMA uh, makeup palette, this is in the shade called Shinto. And so just quickly, I really do enjoy this. This is definitely not a declutter. So I primarily use shade Shinto 3 for the majority of my face, Shinto 2 for uh, concealer. And then depending on what type of like bronzer I want, I'll use either Shinto 4 or 5. I don't use Shinto 1 for anything on, along my face but I really do love this one. This is a great pro makeup artists tend to really love this brand and this cream um, foundation. So I like to travel with this cause it's just really easy to have concealer, foundation and bronzer all in one. Mind you, these two bronzer shades give me the most subtle bronze. So they're not gonna be anything intense, but if I'm going for like a simple makeup look, these work really great for that. This Zara foundation was definitely one that I loved earlier in the year. I have this in the shade called N933. This is beautiful, so definitely keeping this one. And I think I only used this like one time this year, but I really, really loved it. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and this is shade tan three yeah i think i picked it up in the sephora savings event earlier this year so i do need to use this one more because i do remember wearing it and being like ah oh, i see why people love this so i do want to keep this one then we have sephora collection best skin ever foundation most definitely keeping this one i was late to the game with this particular foundation but it is beautiful and i wear shade 33.5 then we have this House Labs foundation. If you know anything about me, this is definitely a true love for me. I wear the shade, what shade do I have in this? I wear the shade 340 and this is beautiful. 
very great coverage, long lasting. Definitely give it a try. Shades are kind of all over the place, but if you can go in store to get shade match. This is the Face Atelier Foundation, Ultra Foundation Pro. This is beautiful. Gives a really nice satin type of coverage on the face or finish on the face. And shade eight, this is the shade that I have. It is a little light for me. I can use it along the center of my face. Um, so if you're around my complexion, I would suggest going a little deeper if you wanna wear this all over the face or if you just wanna get one for the perimeter of your face and then this shade for the center of your face. But really enjoying this, so keeping that. I have this um, cream foundation by Joe Blasco Cosmetics and this is in the shade Golden Tan One. I I felt like I tried this and liked it, but then I went to go try it recently and I was like, this shade is kind of, I don't know. Hmm. So there's the shade. I feel like I'm gonna declutter this. I remember using it, but I barely used it and I'm looking at it now and I don't feel any attachment toward it. So we're gonna let this one go. Because we'll, we'll declutter it. Okay, Good Apple Foundation by KVD10066 is a great shade for me. And I do remember this being really pretty. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. Yeah, we'll keep this. Long Comb, this is their Tint Edol Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. And I have the shade 405W. I really did not wear this too much this year. But I do remember it being really pretty. And you guys, I'm gonna, of course, do my favorite foundations, but I need to wear some of the foundations that came out like really early this year. Cause I'll be honest, I don't remember how I feel about them in terms of like, like I remember not having a negative review for this one, but I couldn't tell you like, oh my gosh, this is da 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 da. So my favorite foundations video will probably come like next week. Cause I do wanna wear a couple. Um, just to get my feelings together and my thoughts together, but this one definitely keeping because I do remember having some positive feelings toward it. Um, then we have this one by Chanel. This is their Le Beige Water Fresh uh, Skin Tint. They came out with this one earlier this year. This one is really, really, really pretty and gives more coverage than the water tint foundation that came out last year, so I'm keeping this one. And I got shade B70. Oh, such a keeper. NARS Light Reflecting Foundation was an absolute favorite this year. I have the shade Cadiz. Ah, oh, I hate that this is blurry. So sorry, guys. Um, but most definitely keeping it. You can even see how much I've gone through this one. This is a surefire love. <laughs> a surefire love. Of course, Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum Foundation, shade 14W. Most definitely a keeper. Love, love, love this one. Okay, this Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. So when I first tried this one, I was obsessed with it. I'm trying to get it to where it's not blurry. Um, the shade that I have is 12, yes, 12. And I noticed that after wearing this foundation multiple times, um, it was getting kind of dry on my skin. And so, I like this one, but I most definitely would say, you know, go in with like a hydrating primer, maybe mix even like a little bit of an oil with it if you have like normal to dry skin, because this can get a little dry on the skin, but it is really beautiful. I love like that ambient soft glow it, um, that it has. Right here, yo, 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 this foundation is so bomb. Like, it's beautiful on its own, but you mix it in with any other foundation you have, honey, child. Like every time I wore this foundation, whether it was by itself or mixed it with another foundation, you all were always like, what is on your skin? What foundation are you wearing? It is so perfecting. The shade that I have is, hold on. I have the shade 4N. There are not a ton of shades in this foundation, but the um, I would definitely say go into the store and see if you can find a shade. Oh, this did not come out this year, but honey, it is ranking very high on my list of favorite foundations for this year. Like, this is definitely up there. Give it a try. Another amazing one is going to be the Makeup Forever HD Skin. This is definitely one of my favorites from this year that came out this year. I have the shade 3Y46. Beautiful. 
temple, beautiful. And then I just recently talked about this one in my November favorites video. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Love this reformulation and I have the shade DN1. And then this is a powder foundation. I'm just gonna include my powder foundations and my liquid foundations, you know, all together. So this is from Chanel. This is their Ultra Latent Powder Foundation. This is really, really beautiful. It actually gives you a good amount of coverage. Um, it is scented but I just really, really love it. And the shade that I have, let's see. I have shade B70, so I would definitely recommend this one. It is so beautiful. Okay, so here's where I keep the majority of my foundations, and then I have some foundations over here as well. So guys, okay, let's just tackle the ones that I have over here because we can get through these a little faster. I also keep primers and concealers and like low products in this area too so we'll address those in another video but so this is a Fenty Beauty powder foundation I have not used this one in a while but I really do like it it was a absolute favorite of mine last year so I do want to keep this one and I wear the shade 330 in this oh Wayne Goss's cream foundation so these are really really pretty highly recommend this formulation of cream uh, foundation if you're looking for one and his shade numbers are backwards so shade four is going to be deeper than shade six so i use shade six for the center of my face and then shade four along the perimeter of my face but the formulation is amazing so if you were interested in them it's a great formulation um i, I have this la mer uh, powder foundation no cushion foundation so this one is here we go this one is really, really pretty. It gives you a very light, almost like skin tint, tinted moisturizer type of look, but I love it. This is like slightly, like ever so slightly light um, against my complexion, but it works. This is in the shade Beige Nude 43. I love everything La Mer. Like I have such a soft spot for them, so I'm gonna always keep everything La Mer. <laughs> but I really do like it though. Another powder foundation that I think is really beautiful and gives amazing coverage is this one by Make It Forever. I don't use it a lot, I'll admit it, but when I want a really good powder foundation, especially if I want coverage, I'm either gonna reach for the Chanel one or this one. Very good, long lasting, very full coverage. Shade Y415 is my shade. And then I have the La Mer powder foundation because I'm just obsessed with all things La Mer. This one does not give as full coverage as Make It Forever and Chanel. It gives you like a nice medium coverage like the Fenty Beauty one and it's really really beautiful. So I have the shade, what is this, 53 bronze in this one. I would definitely recommend this one but I'll admit it's not like oh my gosh you have to get it but if you're like a La Mer fanatic like I am you must get it anyway. <laughs> Oh, and then I think, oh, we've got two more foundations over here and they're by Chantecaille. So Chantecaille Future Skin Foundation. This is amazing. It's so beautiful. I wear the shade Banana. Um, very beautiful, like skin-like type of coverage. And then their Cushion Foundation. So I have the shade Agave. The shade Agave is actually a better shade match for me than the shade banana um and i'm like looking at it and i'm like yeah we need to love on you like that looks disgusting but <laughs> the formula is great and i would say if you can get a shade definitely give it a try if you're looking for a really beautiful cushion foundation they actually have some for deeper complexions as well so now let's tackle all of these dear god help us because i don't know how successful we're going to be. I'm looking at some and I'm just like, nope, we're not getting rid of any. Okay, so the Tom Ford <sighs> Shade and Illuminate Foundation. I'm never going to get rid of this. I love Tom Ford foundations. And even though this one is crazy expensive, okay, I have shade 8.7. This one is really beautiful. I'm not even going to lie to you. So keeping that Tom Ford Traceless Stick Foundation absolute one of my favorite foundations ever like ever and i wear shade 8.7 golden almond in this i actually really love to wear this foundation in the summer so it's not one that i'll wear typically like 
in the winter time, but I keep it for like spring and summer. Then we have the skin tint by the lip bar and it's a skin tint, but it actually gives pretty good coverage for it to be a skin tint. I wear the shade called Caramel Delight. And I would highly suggest if you're looking for a really nice skin tint that's in the more affordable price range, definitely check this one out. It has a little bit of SPF, hyaluronic acid. It's a beautiful one. So keeping that one, Okay, I can get rid of this one. This is by Guerlain. And as much as I really do enjoy this one, as you can see, I've gotten a lot of, well, you know, for me, I've gotten a lot of use out of it. Number one, this one is discontinued. Number two, the last time I wore it, which was like toward the end of last year, if you can hear like stomping, that's Riley upstairs. So <laughs> don't pay it any mind. But when I wore it, it was so dry and matte on my skin. And I was like, oh goodness. So I am going to declutter this one. I enjoyed it for a little bit, but it was very wet. Okay, Cali Skin. This is a skin tint and the shade that I got was 10. And this one is, it's okay. Like, you know, honestly, I wore it a couple times and then I'll be honest, I kind of forgot I had it. So in theory, I should probably declutter it. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna declutter it. Okay, Pat McGrath Sublime Foundation, never, ever, ever. Actually, you know what? I am gonna declutter Medium 19 simply because I've had this one, hmm, might've had this one for going on three plus years. And shade M17 is actually a better uh, shade for me. So only decluttering M19 because it's old, but like, this is still like best foundations, favorite foundations of all time. Pat McGrath is still like no lie, top three, hands down. Fenty Beauty Ease drops uh, skin tint. I absolutely love it, shade 13. 13 is honestly like maybe a like hair light. So if you're around my complexion, I would try a deeper shade, but I really do love this one. So definitely keeping this one. Okay, I got this for free from um, Ulta. It was for, oh, uh, when I reach diamond status, is it diamond status? So this was a free gift. I think, yeah, it's a free gift. Um, I think this one is nice. Like, as you can see, I have used it some. I have shade WN82 and uh, I don't really know how to feel about it. So maybe I should declutter it. Yeah, it was really nice, but I have no feeling. This one, Cojun Doe Aqua Foundation. I loved this like around this time of 2020. This was all I wore. And I have the shade, what shade is this? 143. Believe it or not, it actually kind of works. I feel like I want to wear this again to see if I still like it. So I'm going to keep it. But I will say this if I don't like it or I'm like, yeah, this is not working for me anymore, I'll declutter it. But I, I just feel like I need to try it again for as much as I loved it <laughs> before. Okay, this very Valentino foundation, not going anywhere. This is beautiful. Absolutely such a beautiful foundation. Shade DR1 is what I wear. This one is like a uh, hair too deep for me. So if you're around my complexion, I would suggest maybe going up a shade if you can find one. But this one is a beautiful one. Absolutely love it. I have this Yummy Skin Fit Serum Foundation. So this is in shade 13N. I thought 13N would be a good shade for me because shade... Um, 12W is a little light and this one is too neutral. So I'll put this in my makeup artistry kit uh, because I can't do anything with it, but you know, I could use it for someone else. Oh, Kosas Tinted Face Oil. By far my favorite skin tint on the market. Definitely keeping this. I might, I feel like I might be time to buy another one just because I've had this, I think I've had this one now for almost three years. I'm going to declutter this one simply because I have had it for, yeah, <laughs> about three or so years. Um, but I am going to buy another one. Only decluttering it because this particular formulation that I've had is old, but not because of the product itself because I love it. I picked up this thread um, stick foundation off of one of you all's recommendations and it was okay, but... I didn't really have too many feelings about it, so I'm gonna declutter this one. And then Range Beauty, I love Range Beauty. 
They are a black-owned, woman-owned brand, and their foundations and all of their products are made for people who have sensitive skin, eczema-prone skin, and I love their products. Plus their owner, she's so beautiful and so sweet and kind. So definitely keeping this foundation, I wear the shade Rio. Rio is definitely a little orange for my complexion, but with concealer, I can make it work. Um, so love this one. My La Mer foundation, so oh, it's honestly time for me to declutter this because I've had it for so long. I probably have had this La Mer foundation <laughs> since, hmm. I think it, next year will be four years. So let me see if it smells because I really don't want to declutter it. This one doesn't have a smell yet. So I think we can get a little bit more wear out of this before I declutter it. Like if I still have this this time next year, I'll declutter it then. But so far, it doesn't have a smell. And I actually have worn this this year and it didn't break me out. So we're going to keep it. And I have the shade Amber 53. This is like a hair deep on my complexion, but the shade above this would be too light. So concealer we can make it work marriage stick foundation this is really really beautiful great for like those quick i just need to you know cover up some like redness i don't want a lot of coverage but i want to look a little perfected shade buff is the shade that i go for and it's really really pretty so um would definitely recommend this oh, luminous silk absolutely keeping you shade 8.75 i mean where do i begin Everybody needs a little luminous silk in their life. Definitely one of like my all time favorite foundations for sure. Gonna declutter this. This is the NYX Total Control Pro foundation. And the shade that I have is called Caramel. The shade actually works pretty good against my complexion. Um, and as you can see, it's gotten some love, but you know, I'm not, le I'm not using it anymore. And it's time to declutter it. Chanel Le Beige. This is the Healthy Glow Foundation. Most definitely keeping it because I love Chanel foundations. Shade N91 Caramel is the shade that I have. This one is a little deep for me, but it worked in the summer. So um, if you were to buy this foundation now, I would shade, I would suggest going for shade B70 if they have it, because that would be a better match for my complexion now if you are a shade twin of mine but most definitely keeping that my absolute favorite chanel foundation ever ultra latent ultra wear all day comfort flawless finish foundation this is a matte foundation but when i say it is beautiful and flawless on the skin honey child bd71 is the shade that i have this is a really good shade for my skin tone as well like i said it's matte but like it is such a beautiful like soft matte foundation <sighs> okay and then this is the yummy glow serum foundation or the yummy serum foundation in shade 12w um i just have the box for 14w but this is what 12w looks like so this actually works really good for the center of my face and then 14w is better for like the perimeter of my face so definitely keeping this okay dior what is this one called backstage face and body foundation shade 4 in so beautiful definitely keeping this oh you guys know this is going to be a long one so i hope you've got your snacks and your drinks and so here this is the forever skin glow foundation by dior this is another one that i want to try again before i give my final thoughts Shade 4WP is what I have. I remember really enjoying this one. As you can see, I put a little, just a little bit of a dent in it. Um, so I know I like this one. I know that I enjoy it, but I can't, I don't know yet how I would rank this one and where I would put it in my ranking. So that's why I want to try it again. Another one of my favorite Chanel foundations is this Ultra Latent Blurring Smooth Effect Velvet Matte Finish. Oh, this one is beautiful. Shade BD91 is what I have. So here's the thing. <laughs> BD91 is a little deep for my complexion, but I wanted that foundation that day that I bought it and they didn't have BD71 in store, so I got BD91. <laughs> BD71 would be the shade I would recommend if you want like a really good shade match, but I can work with BD91. But this is really, really beautiful. And I love this one for the summer. It's really pretty for the summer. Okay, we can declutter this one. So this is the... Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation by Shiseido. Did this come out this year? I gotta check to see if this came out this year. Um, but you know what, even if it did come out this year, I'm gonna declutter it because it was okay, but I just, it wasn't my favorite. I prefer the 
more matte version of this one than this radiant version. It it's, it's it was just okay. It it didn't it didn't tickle my fancy like I would have liked for it to do. The Chanel number no. one. Oh, this foundation is beautiful. It's so like natural and lightweight on the skin. B70 is the shade that I have. It looks really perfecting, like your skin but better, and I love it. This was beautiful. Um, definitely want to once again use this one again just to you know gather my thoughts so I can properly rank it. Um, I will go ahead and declutter this Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation though. Um, not because I don't like the formula. This is the more matte version only because I've had this one for three years And it's been a minute and I feel like I need to get a new one So I'm only going to declutter this one based on how long I've had it. Okay, so here is the NARS This is the soft matte complexion or soft matte complete foundation shade Cadiz That doesn't look nice <laughs> So this has a shelf life of 24 months. So I have not had this for two years yet. So we just had to shake it up. That looks better. But I, rem I remember really enjoying this one. So I'm gonna keep this one. NARS and Chanel are two of my favorite complexion brands for foundation. So I will only declutter those foundations due to age, but never because of formulation. We have this Gucci foundation. So this one I remember loving a lot. Um, but I have not worn it a lot. You can see that it's starting to separate. And what shade do I have? 350W. And I am going to declutter this one because I need another shade as well. This is too deep for my complexion. And when I bought this last year, it was only available online. But now that they have this in my local Sephora, I'm going to buy another one and get a better shade. So I'm going to declutter this, but only because I need a better shade. But I'm formula wise, so it is a beautiful foundation so that's that okay Westman Atelier foundation stick I have shade Atelier 10 this foundation stick I like it it's not the best that was Riley excuse the mess of it it is not the best like long wearing you know um it wears nice on the skin and it's you know it's just like an okay foundation but I am gonna keep it because I do like it but it's it's not one that I would reach for a lot but it's enough that I do want to keep it so yeah okay this is Surratt's this is their um dew drops in shade 13 I really enjoy this one I have not worn this one all year oh if you have not tried their dew drop foundation honey child it's like the lux the most luxurious skin tint you will ever try not decluttering this but definitely need to wear it very soon because this is a beautiful skin tint and I I kind of forgot about it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, I got this Lawless Foundation um, from Octoly and it was nice, but the shade didn't work for me. Uh, Golden Peach, it's a little too light um, and it was a little more matte. Like I, I was able to make it work, but I'm gonna declutter it because it, it definitely wasn't a favorite of mine. And then we have this Amico Lay skin tint. So I finally got my correct shade and medium one is the shade that works really nice for my complexion. This is really beautiful, really beautiful. So I'm gonna keep this one. And Amico Lay is now gonna be sold at Sephora on December 30th, so really excited to try more from them. I have another skin tint by Kosas, and the brand sent me one, and I had bought one. I don't remember which one I got. I, uh, I don't remember which one I got and which one I was gifted, because the one that I was gifted was after the one that I bought. Eesh. Yeah, this is the one I was gifted. You know how I can tell? Because I have more in this one than the one that I own. So I'm keeping this one that I was gifted. Whew! I was about to say, how can I tell the difference between the two? But the one that I bought, and have had longer, it has less product. Okay, Ilia Serum Skin Tint. This is beautiful. I love to wear this in the summertime when I'm like at the beach or at the pool because it's very sheer in its coverage or it can be very sheer in its coverage. That's the shade that I wear, Kamari. Um, but you can also build this up to where it actually can, you know, do a little more on in terms of like covering redness, some darker pigmentation. So this is really beautiful. Definitely keeping that. And this is the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. Oh, I used to love this foundation. And it's shade 7.7 .7 Honey is my shade. 
I am not ready to declutter it yet, so I'm not going to. Oh, I forgot Tom Ford. Tom Ford, Chanel, and Nars. They are my top three favorite foundation brands, so it's not going nowhere. Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. This one is actually pretty nice. I have the shade Rich. Um, I'm going to declutter it, though, because I, I did not wear this one a lot. Um, but it's kind of neat. It comes with a doe foot applicator as the means of applying it to your face. A really nice formulation, but I don't reach for it so I can get rid of it. Okay, this Bobbi Brown. I forgot about this. This is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Serum Foundation. I remember buying this last year. Michelle Wong got me on this one, Warm Honey. I'm going to keep it because I really enjoyed it. It was like around this time last year. Definitely decluttering this one. This was not a favorite foundation of mine last year. <sighs> it's just not so. Very happy to get rid of that one. This is a love. The Estee Lauder Future is Hydra Rescue Foundation. Um, shade 5W1 Bronze is the shade that I wear. I really like wearing this in the summertime um, because it just makes the skin look glowy and dewy and just like really beautiful. This is Old Fashion Fierce Foundation Stick. I used to love this. Caramel Fresh is the shade that I have. This is a really beautiful foundation stick. It gives you a natural coverage, so definitely keeping this one. Oh, there's so many foundations I need to be wearing. I got one face and a million foundations. <laughs> definitely keeping this one by Chanel. This is the Healthy Glow Foundation. I've had this one for a couple years now, or maybe last year. BD71 is the shade that I have, and I like this one, so I'm keeping it. I told you guys, Chanel's not going anywhere. You know what? No. I might go ahead and declutter this one. This is the Water Fresh Skin Tint that came out last year. This one has less coverage. Hold on. This one has less coverage than this one. So I actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and declutter this one because I do prefer this one over this one. So look at us. Look at us. Fenty Skin, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I have shade 330. I actually brought this one, I want to say maybe earlier this year. I went and I actually decluttered it and then I missed it, so I got it again. <laughs> Same with this one. I decluttered this one last year and then I felt like I just needed to have it um, because I feel like they're gonna reformulate this and I wanna do a comparison, so I bought it again. Shade 330. This actually looks really good if you mix it with the Balm Powder, the Universal shade. It actually wears a lot better, so that's how I've been wearing it now and I really do like it. Um, most definitely need to try this foundation again. I don't remember how I feel about this Revealer Skin Improving Foundation by Kosas. Um, I did do a review on it, so you can check that out if you wanna know my thoughts. I have shade Olive 290, but I definitely did need to try this one again. Here is the Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation. This foundation is beautiful, you guys. Like, completely, I was completely shocked by how, this, how good this one when I, um, Wore it, and I do have a review on this foundation. I'm trying to find my shade. So I wear shade 104 Toffee. However, I am gonna declutter it because I'm just not gonna wear it. As much as it is pretty, I'm not gonna wear it. LYS Triple Serum Foundation. Such a beautiful foundation. So I have two shades, and the shade that I'm gonna keep is DN6. So this actually works really good for my complexion. This shade right here is TG5, and TG5 I think is a little, yeah, this was a little too light. So I'll declutter this one, keeping shade TN6. We've got the Huda Beauty Foundation Stick, and I have the shade Toffee 420G. I remember really enjoying this foundation stick, so I'm gonna keep this one because I do remember giving this one a very beautiful review and including it in some favorites. The YSL New, was it Bare New, Bare Skin? Bare Look Skin Tint, beautiful. I wore this out last summer. New 15 is the shade that I have. Highly would recommend this one. The Minted Foundation Stick, I have the shade T10. And I feel like I should just keep this one. You know why I wanna keep it? Because it's black owned. And I wanna, you know, yeah. I'm gonna keep this one. This one is a little more dewy, so. Um, if you want to try this foundation stick, but you're like, it's a little too dewy, go get you some balm powder, mix it in with there, and it will control your oils. Uh, what is this? I don't even know. Oh, this is by Ashunta Sharif. Yeah, this is Ashunta Sharif's foundation stick. And I have the shade Toasted Almond. This is really, really pretty. I don't know if she's even really s selling these anymore, but definitely keeping this. This was also a good shade match for me, so 
uh, keeping this foundation stick. Char Girl Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is the shade 10 Warm, but actually shade 10 N works better for me. I have shade 10 N in like a little mini size. Let me show y'all. So here is shade 10 N in this little mini size. Um, shade 10 what warm is it is a little too warm it actually looks kind of orange on me so like should I keep it and just do with the little mini size yeah I'm just gonna you know keep the mini declutter the bigger size speaking of shark girl how could I forget beautiful skin foundation I have the shade 10 in for this one and this is a really nice foundation doesn't last as long as I would have liked for it to last but it's really pretty so definitely keeping this one this one is also by Surratt now I think I'm going to declutter this one I enjoyed this one a lot this is the surreal skin foundation I have the shade 13 it has a skin tint like formula like the dew drops but I do like the dew drop formula better than this one um this one has a wand like this so like you pump the product up and then it comes out through here so i've had this one for a couple years and mainly because of this i mean i could have washed it but i think the last time i used this was two years ago so i'm gonna declutter this one i have these two by il maquillage so i do actually some um what do you call it i create content for the brand so uh, i have two of their foundations this is the Woke up like this foundation shade 155. This actually is really good. Like I know you see promos for this on Facebook and Instagram, but like in all honesty, this is a really good foundation. So don't sleep on it. I like it. Um, this one is their after party next gen full coverage foundation shade 105. So this one is definitely more coverage than their woke up like this foundation. I like the woke up like this one better in terms of just my personal preferences. Um, it's still a really nice formula, but this just gives you more full coverage and it also is more matte. Um, this one is more of like a natural finish foundation, but definitely keeping both. I have this cream foundation from AJ Crimson. I hate, like it breaks my heart that we lost him this year. He was such a phenomenal makeup artist and his products are amazing. So this cream foundation is nothing shy of that. I have shade four. Um, you can buy his cream foundations in a kit or you can actually buy them in the in a packaging I just bought the pan because I wanted to accumulate all of his um, pans and put them in like my own palette but this is a beautiful cream foundation like if you want really good coverage you want a nice dewy finish on your face as well this is great for that I'm gonna declutter the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude uh, natural glow foundation so i have the shade 8.75 this one is nice but i have not reached for this in well over a year like haven't even thought about it so i'm gonna declutter this one smashbox halo healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer this one is really beautiful i have the shade medium tan i bought this when it was half off i want to say at ulta and as much as i liked it when I tried it, I think I might've worn this twice and I haven't reached for it once again in like well over a year. So I'm gonna declutter this one. I'm trying not to keep things that I know I'm not gonna wear. Just like this one. I'm gonna declutter this Huda Beauty. This is her, um, which one was this? Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation Toffee 420G. This one, you know, it's supposed to be a luminous matte, but I felt like it was, it was really matte. And I'm sure I could like judge it up, but I didn't like it that much to want to keep working with it. So I am going to declutter it. Here is the original Long Comb Tinty Doll, and I have the shade 435 Bisque. This one, I definitely, when I wear it, I do need to add like a drop of oil or like a really hydrating moisturizer with it because this one is a little too matte for my skin, but it also really is pretty. So I am gonna keep it for that reason. Or you can also mix it with the Karen Glow version of this and it'll be nice. On its own though, it's not my favorite just because it is a little more matte than I like. Oh, the Makeup Forever Water Tone. What, do I, what did I think about this? I think I like this one. Shade Y434 is the shade that I have. Ooh, I think I like this one. This came out this year, right? I think it did. Definitely keeping this one, but once again, gotta wear it because I obviously can't remember anything about it. It's so sad. Um, okay, I got this one. I was gifted this from a brand called Saint, and this shade Toffee 3.75C is a little too deep for me. Um, 
And if I remember correctly, this formulation is really dewy. I am gonna declutter this one because the shade, it wasn't a good match at all. Um, this is another after party foundation. This one is too deep for me, so I'm going to declutter this one. Oh, this one is so nice. The Tarte Found Sealer. I don't even know if they still sell this one, but this is really beautiful. I'm gonna keep it. Shade 44 H10 Honey is my go-to shade. If this is still on the market, check this one out. This is like one of those, nobody talks about it, but this is a really beautiful like everyday foundation, like good solid everyday foundation. That's what this one is. I actually need to reach for it. Oh, one of my favorite skin tints is by Le Miel. And I have the shade called Medium Deep, what, Medium Deep 50. So beautiful, I love applying this literally with my hands like it's a moisturizer to the skin it's so beautiful effortless like it's like a true skin tint so not necessary but once again if you're like me and you love lamere go ahead and get it um i have this one in shade 125 oh i think shade 125 is like is my right shade i think that's the correct shade for me i remember getting a few of them because we were trying to make sure i got my right shade i think shade 125 is the right shade for me so i'll declutter shade 105 and keep this one. We have here Suku's foundation, the cream foundation, and I have the shade 140. 140 is a really good shade for me, so I'm definitely gonna keep this one. This one reminds me a little bit of the um, Shantakai Future Skin Foundation. It's so beautiful on the skin, and I would highly recommend giving it a a try if you have not. So I'm gonna put it back in here. It also comes with a cute little spatula. Okay, so I have this Longcomb Skin Feels Good Foundation, 08 in Honey. <sighs> yeah, I gotta keep this. I can't get rid of this. This is supposed to be like a skin tint, but it's really like a really nice medium foundation. It's so beautiful. This shade is a little deep and I primarily just wear this in the summer, so I'm gonna keep it. I bought this Vision Cream Cover in N05 thinking I could use this for like my T-zone, and it's mm, it's not a good shade for me, and I already have all of her Vision Cream Cover um, foundations that are great for a makeup artist kit. They're like more small and compact, so I'm gonna declutter this one since I already have it in like a smaller version. The NARS uh, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I have shade Santiago, definitely keeping this one. This is a tinted moisturizer that does give you a little more coverage than like your traditional one. So I would recommend it and it's beautiful on the skin too. It's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna declutter this one by Shiseido. This is a Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Skin Tint. I think this one came out this year. I have shade 335 and it was really nice. It really was. And that's where it ended for me. And so I'm not gonna keep it because I'm not gonna wear it anymore. So there's no need to keep it. Now this one, in all honesty, I should declutter it. I really should. I've definitely had this more than I should have. Um, shade 4.5 in is the shade that I go for, but I know that they're discontinuing this. So if I can find, if this is still at Sephora when I finish making this video, I'll declutter this and then order another one. Um, if it's not at Sephora, I'm keeping it. <laughs> like, I'm keeping it because I'm so upset that they are discontinuing this. This is, like, so perfecting on the skin. It's so beautiful. And I must have it even if I don't use it. I just need to have it. I mean, it's an aerosol foundation and it's so good. So that's where we're going to land with that. If I can order another one, I'll get one and declutter that one. Because I've had that one for at least four years. <laughs> at least. And then lastly, look at us guys going through this all quickly probably is like 50 minutes long. We have Narshir Glow. I love Narshir Glow and I actually still wear it. So we're keeping this one. This is in the shade Cadiz. And then the Zara Foundation. Here's another Zara Foundation. This is in shade W941. This one is too deep for me. So I'm gonna declutter this one. These foundation sticks are from a brand called Basma and they reached out to me and wanted to send them to me. So the shades that work well for me are, so shade 15 is the shade that works best for my complexion. This is a really good foundation stick. Like it is actually really good. It has more of like a natural finish. So I'm not gonna keep all of these, but I will keep shade 15 cause that's my foundation shade. And then I can use shade 18 for like my T-zone. And then I'll keep shade 10 because I can use that to like bronze with 
which I actually did a Reels on Instagram and TikTok showing you all how I use these. So I'll keep those and I'll declutter these shades because they just don't work for me. And guys, that is it. Okay guys, so I just counted, I had 109 foundations. This is the most foundations I've ever owned. <laughs> so this is what we are keeping. I'm keeping 77 foundations and I know that's a lot, but you know what? We did good. We decluttered 32. I am proud of myself because I have never decluttered this many foundations in one declutter session. So I'm gonna give my own self a hand clap, okay? This is a start. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching my foundation declutter video. Stay tuned because of course we are gonna be decluttering more makeup. And if you are new here, I'd love for you to click that subscribe button, join the Glam Girl Squad because we love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.